All right, my goal is to get some doors built for the closet inside. And I plan on doing some routing to the edges to make it look nice. And to do that, I want to have a router table, make it a little simpler and a little quicker. So I'm gonna do some upgrades to the workbench. I'm gonna get this router mounted. I don't really have plans exactly how I'm gonna do it, just kind of making that one up. And then my fence for the table saw, I have that angle iron, but it has a little bit of a bow to it. So I've got to put a level against it every single time and clamp it in place. So I think I'm gonna try and figure out something to get that to be held straight so that I can just move it and clamp it super quick. So this router, this is the one that wasn't working for me. I was able to get it fixed. It turned out the uh, both the brushes on the sides of the motors here were cracked from when we traveled up here in the first place. And so they just weren't getting quite the connection. Sometimes they'd cut in a little bit and then others wouldn't. So I was able to buy some brushes and get those replaced. So now it works great. Um, this router came with a edge guide. And I think what my plan is, is I'm going to put this edge guide on Get it mounted on there. And then I think I'm gonna mount this on here. And then I'll cut a space out for this so I can move it, clamp it however I want. And then I'll have a uh, my fence I can put up against this. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but we'll see what it turns out to be. don't know that the two screws I put here will be enough to hold it. And actually it looks like one's touching up right here. I'll have to file that. Like it's gonna be sturdy enough for just to hold it. But once I'm running boards down the router, I don't know if this will be enough. So I think I'm gonna put a screw with a washer right here and screw it into this sideboard, get it in place. And then we'll just put a screw right through there. These are the perfect thread. They were uh, pieces taken off of our canopy that collapsed uh, from rain last spring. So if I can find enough with the right length, I can pre-drill holes through this and get it mounted on here and that'll make this whole situation a lot easier. Four of them, so that's, uh, that should be perfect actually. So instead of messing around with all this, trying to mount that rail or anything, 
I'm just gonna drill a hole right through this plate, screw it on there, easy. Now the question is just where do I want it? Which I would assume probably closer to this edge. Maybe just put it right about there. Something like that. Uh-huh. I remember those. Yeah. Turned out to be the perfect thing for this. There were two lengths. Yeah, there's like four lengths. Oh, okay. I got a board as straight as I possibly can, run it, ran it through the plater, got it all ready. Uh, it's not 10 foot because the end had a curve to it, so it's going to be like 8 foot. And I'm going to secure it to this and force this straight so that I have a straight edge that I can move quickly and easily. Uh, to be able to attach it though, I am going to uh, destroy this poor little bit. So. Thank you. 
edge with the screws is perfectly flat. The bottom side doesn't, isn't quite. The middle right here, it's a little high. But I'm not too worried about that because that's going to be table side down. So my bench will sit this way. I'll have a flat edge this way. So. As long as it can't warp this way, we should be good. Straight to you? Straight? On the end, I think it wavers a little bit. That'll do. What? Well, I had a little bit of a problem with the first one. Uh, it turned out okay, but the the board had a little bit of a warp to it. So when the center got to the bit, it caused the bit to be lower on the board because the board was up where on the ends it is then all the way 
So I put a couple of shims underneath this plate to keep it up above the rest of the table so that even if my board has a little bit of a warp to it, it only has to be flat for this section. And that should fix it so that my cut is uniform. So we'll try it again. Well, that looks a whole lot better than the last one. Very straight throughout. I chose a board that had a bit of a curve at the end just to see how it would work, and I think it came through pretty perfect. So I think that's how I need to do it. Unfortunately, this board's going to be a loss because this groove is not going to work for me, especially with how off-center it is compared to this one. So it's unfortunate. I may have to plane another board for this. Finished running all these pieces through the router. Uh, they turned out pretty good after I raised that table up. I then went and took and cut all these pieces up to length. So my main piece is 80 inches. I cut four of those. Uh, one of them is a little bit warpy. Uh, I've never had that problem with any of the dry spruce that I've taken down. That was the first board I've ever had that problem and it really curved pretty bad, but I was able to cut a section out of the middle that wasn't too bad. And I'm hoping I can force that into place without the door hanging and warping. So we'll see on that. But I then cut these dividing sections and I ended up with uh, a couple extra. So I'm just kind of playing around with the spacing. Originally, the thought was that we were going to have just one and do it like that. So there's a small panel on top and a big panel on bottom. Uh, we also discussed possibly just splitting it right in half. Don't think we're gonna like that as much. And I believe what we have landed on is being a have extra, if we just divide it up into thirds like this, that will give me the most support for the door and it wouldn't look too bad. So now what I have to do is I've got to take these center pieces. Well, actually I gotta take all of the pieces down here and figure out how to cut a tenon joint in here. So I'm going to cut a corner off of this here, flip around, cut another corner off, same with that side, and then I'm going to slip them into the grooves on either side and get them glued in place nice and tight. That's the plan. Uh, also on the middle two, then I've got to run them back through my router table, get a groove on this side also. So that's the, that's the plan. We'll see what we can do.
Using the router and cutting in those grooves into the table worked pretty good. I was able to then use my miter gauge. Uh, I've never actually used the miter gauge before on this table saw and we've had it for a few years. But it worked out pretty good for getting these tenons cut. Uh, they do fit, but they're pretty snug. But that's gonna be just fine. We'll get it snugged up tight and glued in there and clamped. And then we'll have to get these panels put together. So I can't glue all these pieces together yet. I have to get the panels together and get those slid in place before I glue the frame up. I already cut the paneling pieces, just the boards. I've got them all squared up and all down to half inch, which is exactly what this groove is. I'm going to now cut some, I don't know if I'm gonna do a shiplap or a tongue and groove yet. I'm gonna mess around with it and see what fits. Get the panels together and then I'll glue those panels together and then I'll slide them into this door and get the whole thing glued up. This was kind of a test run for what we're going to do for siding, but this is a long and involved process and I'm going to have a lot of siding boards to do, so I may have to be looking into different options, but maybe I'll end up using a dado blade on the saw, I don't know, I'll have to see. I got all my pieces cut and all of the seams and joints cut and ready to go. Uh, now it's time for my favorite part, which is test fitting. It is either the most exciting and filling moment or the most devastating and disappointing. So all depends how well you did previously.
I'll let you choose the pattern though. I don't. I've been trying to figure out how to glue this door up. I've been trying to put different boards there and use long clamps and rig things together and I just could not figure it out. But I uh, finally decided to do it in sections, maybe because of Lori's suggestion. But uh, I'm going to do the bottom halves. I'm going to stack them one on top of each other so I can do both pieces at once. And then I will go back and do the top half. Well, that's all my pieces cut. Uh, they're all kind of broken up. The glue didn't do real well because the boards were still pretty wet. Um, they dried out behind the wood stove last night. I'll probably have to re-glue a lot of these seams. and But I think everything's ready to go and I'm just going to do the final glue up of the door. So hopefully it turns out right. I think we have all the pieces. It's a big pile of wood right now. but. Uh... Let's see if we can make something usable out of it. Like a door. A door would be preferable, yeah. <laughs> Who knows what it'll turn into though. It's been a rough go through this whole project. I haven't been super happy with it at all, honestly. But we'll put it together, see what it turns out to be. Maybe. <sighs> Maybe it'll be a project for the fire pit. I think even though it's a pain to be doing right now, it's going to look nice no matter what when you're done. You think so? 
Mm -hmm. I'm concerned this is going to look like hot garbage. I don't think so. Because even when you had them glued up yesterday, last night, I thought it looked fine. That's good. If you're happy, I'm happy. We need a bigger house, Lori. It's a little small. I can't build my projects in here very well. Those pieces line up evenly, door to door. Yes. Yes. I have not been doing very well on this project. All these panels are pretty weak. Didn't do very good with the glue up just because I couldn't get clamps on them. Otherwise they just slid because they're diagonaled. And then I messed up and accidentally cut these two panels a little short. So they're just barely being covered by these. It should be fine, I think. But I'm just going to glue on that top panel or the top boards and hope it uh, turns out halfway all right and if it doesn't I'm gonna have to bust all of these off push them all tight and then get them all glued back on and then just cut the long boards a little bit and it just won't be quite 80 inches It's just frustrating because I know I can do so much better. Is that because it's lined up? Pretty sure it faced in the right way. Moment of truth, if this thing pops apart when I let this glue, or let these clamps off, see if the glue holds.
Car's so good. That's one. explode so that's something there's still time for that <laughs> there is yeah that bottom board was really warped like this but this one helped pull that back but because it was so warped it's actually I did my best judgment trying to cut it to length but it was actually long after I pulled it straight so I'll have to zip that off I think it looks all right. I gotta sand it and get rid of this stuff, but oh, I think that got a little glue on it. Oh yeah, you have to push it, push it into the yeah. Oh, it's stuck over here. Well, I think there's probably a little bit of glue on it too. Well, this is it. I uh, am not happy with the doors. The, these panels needed shifted a little bit because I had just a slight gap on the one side and they seemed to have a little bit of glue on the corner. So I was hitting them with a mallet and it just popped the whole frame, exploded. So I have to re-glue it and it's all clamped again. This is what it's supposed to look like, but it's not gonna end up getting done for this video. I've determined that they, it's just not good enough for the house. Uh, so I don't really know what we're going to do with them. They may just turn into firewood. I don't know. But Lori seems to like the look of them, but I'm very unhappy with how, how they turned out. They could have done, been done a lot better. There's a lot of gaps and cracks, and it just didn't quite fit together right. Like, this board is, you can tell, is curved compared to the other one. Um... Ideally, what I was supposed to do is get the uh, hinges put on here and then install the hanging kit and get this uh, bifold put onto the closet with this video, but it just didn't happen that way. Nothing quite worked out. I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these boards a lot bigger. Right now they're two and a half inches, so I'm going to make them probably like four inches all the way around, and I am just gonna ditch that diagonal it uh, I can't get a good clamp on there so it just split and gave me lots of cracks and everything and I'm not very happy with it what happened is when I tried to clamp it they kind of shifted so then they're a little bit jagged so then I had to cut them with the saw to get them straightened out so that they would fit in here but then once they were straightened out they were too thin because I had these cut exactly for the width of this and it just didn't turn out I like the design of it. I know you like the design of it. I don't know. I'm learning. Can't uh, make everything perfect your first try, so don't know what they'll be used for. Maybe they'll get put on a chicken coop or something in the future, but probably just get thrown somewhere in a stack and who knows. It's not going to be in here, though. It's not good enough. I can do better.